I'm a Canadian. What is the best time to look at flow through? So for flow through shares, you have to have probably have a minimum income of $500,000 taxable because below that you can do some, but it's going to be a smaller amount. And it's not, remember, um, your whole tax situation is a weighted average of what taxes you pay. And so you want, if you, the higher your income, the more of it you're paying at the top marginal rate. So 500K and higher is, is probably the right place. So many people out there, of course, do make 500,000 or half a million a year. And they're going, what are these flow throughs around critical minerals? Don't understand. And they're afraid to ask because I've heard these questions asked to experts before. They make them very complicated. They're really just a way to transfer corporate expenses onto your personal tax return. So the way that a corporation would do a deduction of an expense, instead, you're going to get a chance to deduct those expenses on your personal tax return. That's what it does. What about the use of critical minerals? Like I, I'm looking at a flow through sheet right here. They just keep saying flow through shares, 1954 creates mining jobs and critical minerals. Talk to me. Why, are they, why, why do they keep using critical minerals throughout these flow through sheets I'm reading? Um, because the rules of CRA is that only certain kind of mining activities are allowed um, to be used in, in this method. And there, there are thicker benefits around critical minerals. So you can do them for gold and silver, but um, they aren't as uh, tax beneficial as the critical minerals flow through shares. Okay. So half a million, we want to take advantage of tax credit opportunities here living in Canada. Who do we call, Frank? Do we call you? Yeah, you call me because, uh, quite frankly, it's a, depending on what you know, is where the conversation goes. And I think too many of the providers um, don't have a tailored enough. They, well, they can't be tailored enough to the, each individual because they're broadcasting. Okay, well, I have more questions. So, for instance, I've been having people tell me lately, Saskatchewan, you've got to be in Saskatchewan, more tax benefits for your flow through opportunities. Is that true or false? Well, what is true is that usually there's the best beneficial tax treatment if the individual investing is investing in the same province as the project. So uh, for Ontario, you want Ontario, like you want one-to-one. -one. You can do um, you know, out of province investing, but you're going to lose part of the benefit. So really mining flow through shares are ideally done on a provincial basis. Okay. Well, I also understand that Quebec has got these additional win-win-wins and the numbers are phenomenal. Can you tell us what people are talking about when they're getting so excited? I'm certain I'm not the only investor out there going, tell us more, Frank. So the Quebec uh, arrangement is, uh, is that they treat the capital gains for Quebec residents around flow through shares, buying and selling. Um, they, they, they lowered the impact. Uh, so that's a tax break that's available only to Quebec investors who do Quebec, uh, invest in Quebec flow through shares. Okay. Well, Frank, I hope you'll join us regularly, but you did tell me at the beginning of this conversation not to wait till November, call you now. Is that correct? Well, you know, that's, that's a problem is procrastination is the, the middle name of tax planning, right? Everyone will, uh, doesn't do it until the end of the year. Um, uh, but there are a number of things that you can control, which you might, and you will have better access to flow through shares if you come earlier in the year. So everybody out there, you're making more than half a million. Can it? Can you also just have a lot of money in your RRSP or can you just be worth a lot of money? Is there an option A or, or B or C, Frank? Well, that's it's interesting you raise that point because uh, the, the effectiveness of tax planning from flow through shares is going to be larger in 2023 than it's going to be allowed to be in 2024. So if you're thinking of collapsing a RIF or collapsing an RSP, and, you, and you're indifferent whether it happens in 2024, 2025, or 2023, I highly recommend you be doing that in 2023 because it's going to be less helpful in the future. I'll tell you, our analyst, Chris Thompson from eResearch, is going to love you. We're going to have him do an interview with you next. Thank you so much, Frank. And for everybody interested in reaching Frank, here's his telephone number and email. Thank you.